about and a great opportunity for you to do a good thing for a little green. So we have Claire and Brian. Brian's from Nike and Claire's from the Mount Washington Valley Green Team. Good morning to you both. Good morning, Kelly. How's everything going today? Excellent. Excellent. Ready? Getting my arm ready for that plane? Yes. yes. Let's talk about this. I, this is the first time I've heard about this, but this is a program that Nike's been doing for a while. Brian, why don't you start? How long have you guys been doing this recycling program? Yeah, uh, Reuse the Shoe was born back in uh, 1996, mm. um, and uh, really it was a way for uh, Nike's very uh, conscious of the green efforts mm. and sustainability. Um, so um, basically anyone is able to bring um, their shoes to any Nike location for recycling. Um, it goes to a particular plant that they had, uh, <laughs> had um, come up with and they uh, grind up all of the soles to make um, some sort of byproduct. Um, that can be used in certain areas uh, depending on whether it be resoling of shoes. Mm. Uh, there was actually a donation, um, I think three years ago, to the Kennett uh, a track. A huge donation. Nike really came through to make sure that that track went into place. Yeah, uh, I mean, it, uh, it was a you know, uh, $50,000 project, but yeah. uh, it, they do that in a number of different areas as well. We just uh, locally really got a chance to actually uh, see what they can do with the mm. particular product. That's and it all fantastic. stems from, uh, you you know, one of the original founders of Nike was Bill Bowerman, and uh, he was actually one of the first uh, people to invent a track that was already cushioned mm. to make it, uh, you know, safer for athletes to run on. That sounds so great. So that's why I was so slow in high school. No bouncy track. No, I know. I know. <laughs> Only. Now I need, now there was my track career. <laughs> yeah. No, I was more of a mid-distance runner. Not so fast. Not so slow. <laughs> yeah. But Claire, how did the Mount Washington Valley Green Team become involved with so this program? So exciting. Well, one of the things, one of our members had some old sneakers and didn't know what to do with them. And well, who doesn't mentioned. have old sneakers? No, so this exactly. is a good thing. Yeah, how many times are you going to save them to go walking in the river? Right. With? You know, <laughs> you're really never going to get to the river. Let's be real. <laughs> right. And what, a, what had happened was somebody had been into Nike and saw that in, in the North Conway store that there was a bin when you go in and you can just put your sneakers in there any time. And we thought, what a great idea. And what we should, we should get this word out. Right. So we contacted Brian and thought about, let's have a day in the a spring sneaker fling is that pretty much great. what we're calling Bring it. That's publicity to it. Yes. I mean, the green team, they're all about giving solutions to everyday families and people how you exactly. can go green. Exactly. And, and it's not painful. Right. And this is one of those opportunities that's fun. It's going to be a great event for the kids because it involves throwing things, which is always popular. Perfect. Perfect. And uh, yes. so it's a fling. So kids are going to go, I mean, what, are we, what kind of distance are we talking about here? Yeah, so we're going to try to set up uh, tubs at various distances. We'll probably start okay. with five feet, 10 feet and 15 feet. And for, you know, our ace shoe huckers, uh, we'll have to probably come up with something a little bit more challenging. Well, we actually oh, have fun. taller bins that for our ah. kids, which is a program, mm -hmm. which is uh, promoting reusing things mm -hmm. in, the, in the Valley, which is also part of the Mount Washington Valley Green Team, have taller bins there. Okay. So for the expert sneaker hucker there, you know, the sneaker flinger, <laughs> you know, we'll see if we can get that in. And we're very fortunate. Um, Flatbreads mm -hmm. has donated a couple of pieces as his prizes and Nike really? also has some prizes right. and you can get stamps on your hand you know you can get the bear Pop stamp if you get it into the farthest bin or some of yeah. these other things so now how old can the kid be uh, like well, I'm talking my 38 year old husband <laughs> <laughs> is that doable? Kid at heart perfect perfect <laughs> you probably have to go for the you know the, the further bin <laughs> right, right, but we'll give him a stamp well his elbow is a little sore so maybe we'll cut it down a little bit <laughs> but uh, Brian what are we looking at um, you said stamps uh, prizes the flatbread that's all good stuff what time should they be showing up? Um, we're planning on having us from noon to four o'clock today, mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know, hoping to uh, wrap it up at four o'clock. But it's uh, it's off. We could play later than that if we okay. if we needed to. You have good crowd showing up. And what kind okay. of shoes? There's specific shoes that you can't use, correct? Right. It um, it it doesn't depend on brand. Uh, the only thing that uh, it matters is uh, uh, we can't recycle flip flops and we can't recycle cleated um, footwear okay. like soccer cleats and football cleats. Okay, so flip-flops, no, no flip-flops, no cleats, sneakers, and just like regular shoes like this? Yep, absolutely. Fantastic. That sounds like a great program. Where can they find more information? 
Uh, they can go onto the Nike.com um, website and, okay. and get uh, more information on our Reuse a Shoe program. Okay. Um, I'm sure that uh, you'll be seeing a lot more of this locally through um, you know, the collaboration with the green team as well as Settlers Green. Well, it's absolutely fantastic. Well, why not? You know? And, you know what? and if you forgot to bring your sneakers, your old sneakers, we're going to be doing this again in the fall. Oh, fantastic. All right. So I'm bringing my sneakers down. My nice. boys are going to love that. It's going to be so much fun. fun. Oh, yes. yes. They're yeah. going to love it. And, but the real expose question I want to ask Brian, who has to deal with these sneakers? Who gets the job of doing the bit? <laughs> we have some vinyl gloves that have been purchased for this purpose. Um, you know, it's, it's just one of those uh, growing pains that, you know, we got to do it. The little you know? man on the totem pole gets yeah. stuck with the bin, huh? Yeah, whoever's the least productive on the team. No. Uh, no, like you, bin. No, we, we as a team are very passionate about this yeah, program. Good. And, you know, whatever it takes, um, there's uh, other stores out that have have many organizations that they'll, they'll drop 150 pair off oh, on wow. any given day um, wow. and that's something so that we just have to volume. react to absolutely good, yeah good workout sneaker lifting oh yeah there we go <laughs> the athletic component because it is Nike right uh, but thank you so much to both of you for well, putting this you. program thank together you. thank you to Nike from 1993 you said N that, 96 96 so yeah. that's an amazing stint of you know being good to the environment and helping kids tracks mm -hmm. high schools mm -hmm. you name it again more information online at Nike.com, or you can go to the Green Team's website at? At uh, Mount Washington Valley uh, Chamber. Dot org, I believe. Yeah, or mountwashingtonvalley.org. Yeah. yeah, I think it's, yeah. Yeah, just all you have to do is do NWV Green Team in the Google, or there it is on your screen, mtwashingtonvalley.org and slash green. Oh. Thank you to you both, and we'll see you at the sneak Great. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. <laughs> all right, folks, we have more coming up. We have more watch and when to do, so we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with some more fun. 